Hi guys, today's verse of the video is taken from Proverbs 14, 23, and it reads, In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tenders only to penury. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Cassandra. Welcome, and if you're old, what's up gang? So y'all, it's been a minute since I did a sit down video. I'm so excited to do this video. It's been like three weeks since I posted. Y'all, I've been on vacation. So that's why. Y'all, if I'm whispering also, like my family is home and they're asleep. So I don't want to be too loud. Um, hopefully this volume is good for you guys. But anyways, you guys already see the title and the thumbnail. Yes, I will be sharing with you a few tips as to why you should be a flight attendant so um, i have my little stuff that i um that i wrote down on my phone here my little notes <clears throat> um for those of you who don't know i am a flight attendant i have been a flight attendant for six and a half years i worked for two companies my first company i've been there for a year and a half and then my second company that i currently work for i am there i've been there for five years well i currently work for them so i'm there for five years so far um and uh even though like i filmed uh this video i think before maybe like a few years back this is kind of like an updated you know and stuff so if you go back and watch that one you'll probably see some of the same maybe some of the same tips that i have for this one um but um anyways let us jump right into this video because i'm not trying to make it long okay so before i get started um I just want to let you guys know I am based out of Orlando and that is one thing to consider if you're trying to be a flight attendant um, you want to get an airline that has a base where you live I live out of Orlando and I'm based out of Orlando um, but if you're okay with relocating then just randomly choosing an airline is is okay um, but anyways let us jump right into this video as to why you should be a flight attendant in 2023 so my first my first tip for you or reason why you should be a flight attendant is of course the reason why everybody wants to be a flight attendant but it is the fastest way to see the world and get paid now i don't think there is any other job that lets you see the world as fast as being a flight attendant does like i know there are some companies that like some of them their sole purpose is to travel to different places but still it takes time but like with a flight attendant you're traveling daily like literally you're traveling daily so i feel like um I, if you like traveling and if you want to see the world and you want to you know experience different cultures and stuff like that then definitely being a flight attendant will get you there fast and now it's like traveling has gone from like zero to a hundred real quick literally everybody is traveling or trying to travel like even if it's like locally people are just like traveling and a perk is that you get paid to do it so i mean why not you might as well um so my second tip is the pay now flight attendant pay i'm not gonna lie it's great like the most companies they pay really well like i probably only know like about maybe like two companies that don't pay that well but most major companies they pay really well most companies they start from anywhere between 23 to 30 dollars an hour and that will depend and your paycheck everyone everyone's paycheck sorry looks different because that depends on how much hours you work per month now there's some flight attendants that like to work minimum hours 50 hours 60 hours and they're happy and other flight attendants like myself <laughs> i normally typically work like 120 130 hours because i like the nice paychecks okay <laughs> so um so it depends on like you know like i said your paycheck will depend on how much hours you work if you don't work you won't get a nice paycheck but if you work you'll get a great paycheck because and then also it's something to consider too is that every single year your paycheck will go up for most companies you get a pay raise every year on your um anniversary like the anniversary of your hire date or whatever you'll get a pay raise until you reach that like tap out amount then that's what you're gonna get to pay that's what you're going to get paid for the rest of you know your time with the airline unless they get like a new contract and stuff like that then yeah so my third tip is um awesome benefits now i have a 
have so like being a flight attendant you get so many benefits it is insane like we get um discounts on car rentals we get discounts on cruises discounts on hotels um we get what else there's like great um you get good health benefits some airlines have free dental and vision or you may, might only pay like a small fee like six dollars or something per month or like per paycheck or something um but the benefits like being a flight attendant the benefits are amazing like you'll let's say for a cruise for example like cruises go anywhere from like 500 to like a thousand and stuff like that like as a flight attendant you'll pay maybe like 150 sometimes there's deals on cruise you get a hundred dollars you pay and it's the benefits are amazing so fourth tip is similar to number three um the fourth one is benefits for your friends and your family now most airlines you have buddy passes they give you buddy passes per year um and then you can also add your family to your benefits so buddy passes basically it's like okay if you have maybe like someone just messages you and they're like oh hey can i get a buddy pass or whatever and i want to buy a buddy pass whatever it is they pay you the money and you give them the buddy pass and you book the flight or whatever for them and stuff like that they'll still be on standby um because it's not like a confirmed seat or anything but with like your um with adding your parents and your friends to your benefits they're gonna be on there all the time if that makes sense until you leave your company or maybe you retire or whatever and stuff like that so that's like a great thing to consider like if you want your parents to travel as well and you know just not you you can always add your parents if you want you and your husband to travel you can add your husband to your benefits and both you and your husband can travel and you know see the world and stuff like that so yeah um so my next tip number five like reason number five is flexible schedule now i cannot stress this enough like being a flight attendant like your schedule is so flexible i mean pause when you first start off as a flight attendant now you will be on reserve okay like i will tell you this now reserve like you'll be on reserve it'll probably it can range from anywhere between a year to five years depends on your company now my company you'll probably be on reserve for like a year or something um but there's other companies that have um like timely reserve where you can be on reserve for a period of time or like a few days or like one month and then one month you have a line but once you build your seniority at your company then you'll become a line holder now when you become a line holder that is when i feel like it's the best thing because now you can build your schedule you can work as much hours as you want or as little hours as you want and stuff like that but when you're on reserve they will call you whenever they need you like if they need you at one in the morning oh they will call you be like hey girl we got a trip for you at 3 a.m <laughs> you know so yeah that's pretty much how reserve works but once you become a line holder and you get your line you can bid for your schedule you can bid for whatever trips you want you can bid for whatever days you want and stuff like that that's pretty much how um that works and then you have a more flexible schedule so if you have a second job you can still be a flight attendant and have your second job you just have to know how to what days you want off to do your second job and stuff like that so yeah now my sixth reason is it expands your education and there are other built-in careers now y'all yeah, must be so confused by that that reason to be a flight attendant now when i say that i meant that like you learn something every day like being a flight attendant you meet so many different people from so many different professions and if you get into conversation with them you learn so much from them and also when i said it has built-in careers in our flight attendant training you literally have to know how to put out fires you literally have to learn first aid you have to know like what to do if somebody's choking you have to know what to do like to recognize signs of like seizures um if someone gets a burn uh, there's so much that you need to do we need to learn about security and there is just like so many like outside careers that are built inside of being a flight attendant which i love because it makes you like multi-talented if that makes sense so that is definitely another great reason to you know be a flight attendant in 2023 now number seven is 
growth of success. So, um, people always make it seem like, oh, once you're a flight attendant, that's it. Now you start off on a reserve, then you become a line holder. Now, once you become a line holder, you can either like move up in your company. There's there your company, like your companies or, co or companies in general, they're always offering like positions. Like you can move up to cooperate or if you choose to go and like study to be a pilot, like there's so many other, like there's so many other levels that you can move up to in your company if that is what you choose. Or if like, you know, maybe after like 10 years, you don't wanna fly anymore and you wanna just work in the office and stuff like that. Like most companies are always offering other positions. So like there's room for um, growth and for success and stuff. Stuff like that so definitely that you know that's a good reason to um you know be a flight attendant and number eight is it's a great way to meet new people and find new friends so i cannot tell you how many people i have met since i have been a flight attendant i mean 90 percent of them were co-workers that became friends and then there's that other like 10 percent that i'm like okay i just random passengers that i met that seemed really cool that you know we connected and stuff like that so definitely if you're looking to meet new friends and, and meet new people and stuff like that um definitely being a flight attendant is a great way to do so also so many business people are traveling there's like i said there's people from all careers that are flying and you might you might want to be a lawyer and then when you you're a flight attendant now but you want to expand to being like a lawyer or something then you might meet someone in the law field that's traveling and you can get a little bit of information from them maybe they're like high up in the law like the law chain or whatever that you know they can help you to become a lawyer and stuff like that so that's something like it's a great way to meet people great way to like meet friends and bond and stuff like that i know some people are not all for that but you know I, you have to know who to talk to when you know when to talk to people and stuff like that so yeah anyways number nine is i feel like this is a great point number nine is that it shapes your personality now i cannot tell you like how like my job has changed me so much as a person i mean i felt like I was always like a pretty chill calm person or whatever but like being in my field like i've learned so much more about being poised like i've learned like you know like my personality wise like i know when to react when not to react like how to react to situations and even like in training they teach you how to react to situations and so you can take that throughout your life you know and stuff like that like you know you know how to deal with passengers you know how to deal with your co-workers and stuff like that so definitely it, if you're looking for a way to shape your personality then definitely being a flight attendant will help you to do that um and then number 10 my last and final tip or reason is i just call this one miscellaneous because there's a few things in here that i want to um point out so number 10 um for one under this miscellaneous category you have self-direct now we don't have any supervisors or bosses that are like breathing down your neck like yet in the mornings are like during the day you might see your supervisor in between flights and stuff like that you know walking around doing their little checks and stuff in the mornings when you check in for your flight you might see them which is great but they're not like in your face like a nine to five job also like some companies they offer compensations for different things you have like company promotions that you can take part in like we have um a lot of like our company has a lot of stuff that flight attendants can take part in like competitions there's like um, promotions there's like so many things that we can take part in that will make us or help us to earn extra money and stuff um, or win like a car and all these things like there's so much like activities you have like staff parties you have like all these different things like there's so much other stuff that comes with being a flight attendant that people don't know but I tell you it is a great great career to like jump right into it so guys in closing this video off i hope i give you guys some great pointers as to why you should be a flight attendant in 2023 i know most people would say the same thing and the fact that we're all telling you the same thing 
literally that is what it is and stuff like that and i like i said it's a great career to get into like i i've had so many people ask me about being a flight attendant or why they should be a flight attendant if it's a good career to get into like it is great you have so many great layovers like i said you meet so many great people like you'll you'll have fun with your crew on your layovers and stuff like that um there's just so much to like there's just so much about our job that people literally do not know but you as a person will only know that when you start training then you're gonna realize like okay there's still so much more to this job than you know just serving drinks or whatever people think we do um but anyways we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any flight attendant questions feel free to ask me you can either comment them down below or you can message me privately i will try to put like my instagram and my facebook up here they're both chrisandra bowman so you can find me on there if you have any questions feel free to message me i'll definitely help you out if you have any interview um questions or like whatever questions you have training questions if you need help with anything definitely let me know and i will reach out back to you guys so once again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share to your friends always remember to be kind and i will definitely see you guys in my next video Bye guys.